live from the city of Los Angeles. It is September 12th, 2023. It's your boy, Dwayne Cofield. I'm your host of Drug Dealers to Businessmen podcast. This is the weekly tap in and I'm tapping in. <clears throat> What's good, everybody live in a beautiful day in Los Angeles. Hope everything is going well for you. Make sure you guys, if this is the first time you tap it in, man, make sure you put where you tap it in from um, in the comments. And yeah, man, this is going to be a special episode. This is episode number five of season five, man. So we're rocking and rolling, man. And I can't tell you, man, this has been an amazing journey. Um, and usually when people say that, that like this about the clothes, but that's not the case with us. We're still going to continue to rock. Um, but it's been an amazing journey of growth. You guys, without you, couldn't do it. What's going on, Joe? Appreciate that, man. Tap it in. Couldn't do it without you, man. You guys are giving me more than you know. And I'll tell you more about that towards the end. But today we're talking about business and marketing. We got a special request by Tanisha out of High Desert. So shout out to Tanisha. Tanisha Talks. Follow her on YouTube. Um, if you're looking for a hashtag, hashtag you better do it. Just the you, not the Y-O-U. And kind of tap into what she's talking about. If you like my flavor and my flow, what I'm saying, um, you very well may like some of her content as well, man. So definitely tap in with her. But we'll be talking about business today. So I don't know if you guys know the people that are listening. I teach business as well. Going on my sixth year, man. Can you believe that? Sixth year in the College of Business, Cal State LA. What's going on, Tanisha? So six years at the, the uh, College of Business at Cal State LA. I've been teaching at Cal State San Bernardino for about four. And I just started at Long Beach State as well. So I've been teaching consumer behavior, marketing, which is principles, your your um, marketing mix, um, um, your SWOT analysis, marketing plan, budget. I teach all that. I teach social media intro to social media i teach content marketing which is also how you what kind of content you position and and push online and social media platforms um also teach um sales so professional selling as well so got a lot of experience in that space um and i had 20 years selling dope <laughs> so when you put that combination together you know what I'm saying? Like that was a long time, a long time ago. But this is the whole purpose um, of this, this, this entire conversation, this entire podcast is that our our objective is to show people that you can use these same skills, same exact skills that you learn in the streets. and You could actually apply them to business. You'll see a lot of things that translate right in terms of brand. I often talk about when we used to wear our cologne, that was kind of our brand. Right. <laughs> Um, and made sure we had the better or more expensive cologne. Um, there was different things that we did that was all part of business at that time, although we had no idea we were doing it and didn't know what it was. Supply chain management, um, you know, getting out there, generating sales with energy. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times you sit in the house and things won't be happening and you have to actually physically go out there and create um certain things activities space etc you have to actually go out there and do it so i'll be talking to you in detail i won't go like from the basics um i will kind of go from the basics like you know kind of not because i think everybody can google how to start a business llc you know what type of business format you should set up or fit business structure let me use my my correct words um um, there's also one other class that I teach that I was trying to tell you guys about, but I'll, I'll get back to that. But yeah, so I teach all those different classes and the one thing and I said, Oh, retail, that was the other thing I teach retail, um, as well, which is another really interesting class because understanding how leases work, commercial leases, commercial space, what your zone for permits, all those things are things that I'm learning now as well as I'm teaching a class, I'm actually physically in real life doing this stuff. Um, going through that pro my family and I are going through that process as well. We signed a lease. We're committed to it. We're building out. So that's <laughs> that's a lesson in itself. And and I'm saying all that to say, you know, my experiences can translate. So I don't, you know, I I can go 
academically thick or and I'd rather go here, you know, here's here's what I have. How do I make it bigger than what it is? Or how do I get the message out? How do I make it spread? How do I, you know, how do I make it pop? And, you know, there's there's ways of doing their strategy. Of course, there's, you know, there's there's free things or at least perceived free things like social media and understanding that, you know, and really understanding how to, if you don't have the budget, how to get your message out organically or how to get into these circles. And what it is, is in the process, what you're going to find is you start to do that research, you're going to look at other people's styles. You're going to, you're going to grab things from this person, that person. And it's really going to like <laughs> enhance, um, as you do your research, it's going to enhance your profiles for lack of better words. And what I mean by that is you got to study the great and you have to, you have to not only just study what they're doing because the basics you can look online, but what are, what, what's making them different? Right. What's making someone pop? And a lot of times it's smoke screens and shit like that. So don't don't fall, especially if you have a product or you're a brand that requires a really it's a really niche brand. It's not for everyone. And that's the first if you want to talk about business rules, that's the first business rule I will tell people is and in marketing, whatever you want to call it, um, do not make a product for everyone. Right. You don't everyone's not your customer and you need to be really clear on that, right? Everyone is not your customer. And if you make something for everyone, you're really making something for no one. So you need to have a specific customer in mind. We always say when you're developing your marketing plan, you need to have an idea on who you're targeting, right? Before you design your product. So if, even if it's like, say for instance, in your case, Tanisha, to where you, you, you do motivational speaking, things like that, there's a there's a person that you're talking to, right? And whether it be you <laughs> or whether because in my case it was me or someone like you, right? And you know the ins and outs of what their day to day is, right? You understand what they're going through, what they wake up to, um, what they listen to, what they're watching. You should understand, and this is how I talk to my students too. I should you should have an understanding down to the detail of who that person is, what they do, what they watch, who they hang around, what the conversation is that then when they're around their homegirls or whatever the case may be, you should have that down to a detail. And a lot of people don't want to do that because it requires a lot of work. But it's one of the things that I'll tell people to start with. You have to understand who your customer is. When I was at the radio station KJ Lights, we understood who that customer was. It was an older black lady who drove buses or was a professional work downtown, uh, kid, one kid in high school, the other one's a freshman in college. She drives a Lexus. She listens to KGLA. She listens to 94.7. She goes to jazz festivals. She goes to the Bahamas, Jamaica. She doesn't really mess with Mexico. She's got family in Texas. We knew every damn thing. <laughs> and that was the detail that you have to understand because you need to understand how your product fits into their lives and when it does. Right. One of the things that's beneficial about these the 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 episodes that we do here is that you can pick these up whenever you want to. You know what I'm saying? So that's it's not for everybody. And I understand that I'm not designing this for this is not for everyone at all. I'm designing this for my own boys. And if other people get inspired by it, so be it. Right. But this is designed for my home boys who are trying to turn it around. That's it. And I know who it's designed for. The homies trying to who who may have a a business that they just starting, trying to figure it out. May have came home from the pen with a little money. May have got out the game with a little bit of money. You know what I'm saying? And trying to get it together. Don't want to go back to jail. You know what I'm saying? No, they know what they know. No, they street smart. No, they like I want something better. And they just need that little bit of edge to get them over, right? Then other little small resources, these little books and little tidbits, but they need to really figure it out themselves. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what this is designed for. And other people have caught on. Granted, I mean, and I love it. Don't get me wrong, but this is designed for the homie, right? So I understand who this is designed for. So all my content is based around that. And it makes it a lot easier too. So everything you need to do needs to be based around that. So if you're targeting females, you need to be targeting, talking about female issues, right that they can relate to if the homies catch on so be it but you're not you're not talking for them 
So when you think about a product, you know who you're designing it for. I'll give you an example of our cannabis bus, right? The weed business, Med Tours LA. I know who that's, that's designed for the tourists who's coming from out of town, who may have like a party of five or six, right? Everybody from down south, South Carolina, Texas, or something like that, who wants to get on, go see the city, and not have to worry about nothing and be in safe hands. That, that's who we just, we, it took us a minute to figure out who we were. You know what I'm saying? We came in thinking we were going to get a bunch of weed heads, but that wasn't who we, you know, and then we started focusing on that and really being that for them. And sometimes this is the thing about business. You know, you got to start small. You got to start initially with one customer, with one, one viewer, one person watching, one. It all starts with one. And you prove the concept from that point on. Everything that I've done starts with that. Right. There's books. I could tell people the 22 immutable laws of marketing. I would start with that just to understand the concepts of marketing. If you don't like at a shortcut to, to not going to business school is read these books, save yourself some time and experiment your ass off. You got to try different things. Everything's not going to work. Everything's not going to stick. But if you throw up enough, th enough things up against the wall, something will stick. Right. You're going to find your niche. I found Facebook work. This work, this live. I thought, what do I do? Well, it, it, you sit it, it, after time. It, everything came one man. You need to get a studio. I'm like, have you seen DJ academic shit? And this fool got global notoriety and he be in there and the cameras whacking. I'm like, that ain't it. <laughs> it ain't your camera. It ain't nothing. it's you got to put in the time. Things take a long time. This is it, the, the 10,000 hour rule is real. Business takes a long ass time. When you see people bubble, it's usually after they've been sitting there on the stove for many, many hours. And it's going to take time. You've got to be patient with business, right? It's not one of those things. We hear the, them outliers like, oh, such and such did. Yeah, but it took, it takes time. It takes five, like sometimes between five and 10 years like on some bamboo stuff, right? But the thing what you have to do is some of the basics. You need to have a plan. Who am I targeting? And then I'm going to design everything around them, right? Everything that I do is going to be around them, my blogs. And then now it's even easier. You blog too, right? So when you, do, when you do videos, you probably should blog because that works on your website, right? And then figure that, figure that part out. Look at other people's stuff. Start to study other people's crafts. What are they doing different than what I'm doing? Right. Is it their camera? Do I need a microphone? What do I need? What do, and as you start to put it together, God, the universe will provide. That's when you got to start to trust the universe and invest in yourself. That's the next step. Right. Study. You got to study your customer. You got to understand what you're getting ready to get into, how to serve them, what the product like looks like. Right. What that actually. OK, so the product is going to look like this. It's going to say we're going to go da 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 da. Then if you need to bounce stuff off of people, ask the experts or the, the people, the best expert is Google. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm available. I'm not just tooting my own horn saying I'm an expert, but I'm available. But at the same time, the best way to learn is experiment, right? Best way to do it is ask Google. How do you? You'd be shocked at how much you can learn from just that. How do you set this up? How do you do this? I was up there looking up. How do you keep macaroni and cheese warm? at a restaurant like that's a problem that we're gonna have pretty soon you dig what i'm saying what's going on <laughs> what's going on sam appreciate you tapping in for an atl but that's a problem that i'm having so i googled it got to a reddit and red 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 and that's the one thing like you know you think you go to school to actually learn business no you don't you know the one thing that i'll say the school taught me was to learn how to learn to learn how to study and commit to something until you find the answer that's what it did teach me. I don't remember shit it taught me about in terms of like the specifics, but it did teach me how to commit to something and finish the job, right? How to stick with something and see it to its through. That's what I picked up on. And I realized that that probably was the whole sole purpose of me going to school. But everything, once this internet came, <sighs> sorry for breathing in there like that. But once the internet came, yo, that was it. I Googled everything. I YouTube stuff, right? I spent time alone studying, learning what I need to learn, buying the books, buying bullshit books. 
books that didn't work. Right. You hear the majority of my stuff, but it's like I got you got to experiment. You got to go to conferences. Right. Where do you want to be? Right. OK, so what I want to be this. Well, you got to go put yourself in a position to where they are and you need to surround yourself with those individuals. What do you want to be? You can do it. I promise you that that is it. God wouldn't have put the vision in your head if it wasn't possible and feasible. So you're going to go through setbacks. You're going to go through this 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 road that you're at right now, which is the the wastelands, right? It's described in the, the, the dream giver book. It talks about that when you're, you know, you don't want to go back to where you were, but you're not too far along to where you can see where you're headed. Right. And that's a, that's an interesting, awkward position to be in. Cause you're like, well, what am I doing? <laughs> Should I quit? And that's the one thing you can't do is quit. Ask your ass off. Right. But don't quit. You can't do that. Right. So once you understand that, you need to figure out what it's going to take for me to set up my business. What do I need? So when I came with the podcast, I asked him, what do I need? And I started Googling it. Then John Lee Dumas came out, which is a guy who does a podcast called um, Entrepreneurs on Fire, EOI or something like Entrepreneurs on EOF. And he had a, um, a, a, a episode and also a download where you can download his entire thing on podcasting equipment and he gave me the microphone the the high low everything that i needed and i started buying it and told me where i can put my podcast and told me everything that i needed to know right and i started doing it. I, I logitech let me get that this week okay i can't afford the mic okay i'll ask for it for christmas you know what i'm saying and you just have to twerk you know okay i don't want i want no perfume for christmas give me a mic right <laughs> give me a, a live mic because i'm gonna start going around and I'm going to start doing stories with inspiring people around the town or whatever. You might, you know what I'm saying? You could do food. I don't know. Like the dude that down here, what is it, Alex Cottrell or whatever, he just started doing food reviews. So anything is possible. You just got to invest it in the show, the universe that you're committed to it. So if you're looking for whatever it is, so for instance, like I'll, I'll go through a list of each one of the businesses and, and the process of what I did. So I'll start with the chicken. So with the chicken, we experimented at the house first. We started, we <laughs> went and bought some chicken, wasn't that great, said we can try it. And so the first thing we thought about was not a, re we looked at the resume, like, man, we, we got to first test the bottle, da, 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 da. And we bought a fryer. We bought two fryers. This is where the universe, like, you got to say, okay, I don't even have, I went and I built a logo in Canvas. Or Canva. I keep switching because I teach on Canvas. I, I did the logo in Canva, drew it up, came out cool. I was like, it's all right, but the colors is cool, right? So I did that. Then I bought the domain name. I, it, it, each step and stage. So I went and bought the domain name, Sherelle's Famous Fried Chicken. It was available $12, $13. Okay, where are you going to put it? Okay, well, next is the website. Let me just build a little rinky-dink website just to have. Now, mind you, I did the same process with my hair company, right? Then once you set all that stuff up, you're like, okay, let me go register with the county so that I can set up a DBA, which is a doing business as, which is like 30 bucks. And I go set up the DBA, claim ownership or whatever of this business, they tell you to go list it in these publications like Pasadena, um, whatever, these little small publications for six weeks or whatever the case may be. Then they tell you your stuff is official. They'll send you some stuff in the mail. Tell you your stuff is official. So now that you're set up on that end, you still need to register with the Secretary of State. So if you want to be recognized and get a seller's permit and you want to sell stuff or whatever, you got to set up articles of incorporation and you have to set up these things with the Secretary of State with California. This is, I'm speaking from California terms. So once you set it up with a uh, secretary stick, I think it's less than $200, about $225 total. Might be like $175 or something like that. I don't recall the actual fees anymore. But you set that up. I set it up in like 2015. And then every so often, you just have to send a statement of information. I think every two years, just to update your information to say, hey, I'm here now, or I moved, or whatever the case, or I still own this business, and this and this and that. Now, your DBA is good, I think, for five or six years. And you have to re renew that. They'll send you something in the mail. You have to go through that process and renew that. Once you set that up, you set up the Secretary of State. You need to apply for a federal ID, 
which is easy. You can do it online. That's a free thing because most of the time you're going to need a federal ID to set up your business um, banking account. Um, if you wanted to go to Chase or anything like that, they're going to ask you for your FIN, federal ID number or whatever it is. Um, and you can get that free with the, through the government. So those things are the basics in terms of just trying to set up your your structure and how you to get you operating. And I know I said that kind of fast because I have I've done a podcast in the past about it and probably a little bit more detail. Um, so you guys can check that out. So once you do that, you have your logo. So I kind of breezed over that. But I think that that's really important. I think sometimes I see people complicate their logos too much um, with small wording too long or whatever the case may be. You need to think about your colors. Um, you need to be specific about your colors. Blue is a trust color. Red is an excitement color. Black is a bold, sleek color. Orange is a, um, a optimistic. Yellow is optimistic. Green is, um, um, what's the term for green? It is, I think, where, they, you, where it's like more earth, um, green, earth-friendly. And then uh, purple's royalty. Um, I said red was excitement. So some of these colors, be be deliberate in that sense, right? Be on be intentional with the colors that you select of what you want it to represent, right? And then go build your own shit before you give it to somebody else and say, hey, here's my vision. I've seen some people come up with some whack ass logos, like, oh, this is my graphic design. I'm like, you should have did that shit on Canva, dog. It, it would have saved you a, a, a few hundred dollars in a friendship. Because <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So um, set that up in Canva um, and easy peasy. And you could do different editions. You can reverse the colors. You could do all that kind of stuff, right? So once you set that up, you build that, you can build your logo. You can use that logo to build your YouTube out. So when you're talking about YouTube, you can, um, let me see if I can just show you guys, like some of the stuff. Um, what well, doesn't do any good because people anyways so if you go to canva you can actually see that and i might just go to it let me just or have a login and i'm just grabbing it right now trying to log in so i can show you guys how easy it is i think they logging me in so let me share the screen with you guys just showing you how easy this stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm being tra like mad transparent. So you guys can see, you know what I mean? Just like, it's not that difficult to, to pull off. So some of these things you can see how we made most of our menu items. I make my, my covers for the business in here. This was uh, um, this particular one in the middle was a... Uh, a logo for our, our poll sign. You can create all this stuff right in here, right? So whatever you want, you can put YouTube. So YouTube, YouTube, you can put YouTube, banner, logo, all that stuff. So that's that's stuff that's, uh, what's going on, family? I appreciate you tapping in, man. Hope you're feeling better, loved one. Um, but these are things that you could, this is like 5 or $6 a month. They might have went up a little bit, but it's not that much more. And my point is, you can get busy with this, right? You can, you can come up with three different color logos tonight, as dude said on as the, <laughs> the cat on um Superfly. I want my money tonight, right? You could do it tonight, and that's the beauty in it, right? You can do it right now and make this a real thing, right? So there's a couple steps that you can do to make it official now. That's just the foundational part, right? So once you once you get rocking and rolling, um, you you got to do a couple things, right? You got to one talk about it. Don't hold things back, right? If you're in business, you need to tell people what you're up to, not to the point of where you're beating it over the head. But if someone, hey, what are you up to? Da, 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 I'm more humble with mine. I just wear my shirts, right? I wear my shirts everywhere, literally everywhere I go, and I'm a big giant walking billboard. So that's the one thing that I do do, right? I let people know off the bat, man, you interested in either weed, get on this bus, take a picture of the back of my shirt, podcast, chicken, hair, we, <laughs> what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Fan gave me the form. Yeah, I'm trying to say, that's what I'm saying. So it's like, 
why not? You know what I'm saying? Try, I, these are easy things to, to knock out, right? So doing that, once you set that up, you need to come up with taglines, right? So you've already, Tanisha already got the you better do it. We got um, mainly for the chicken. Um, our our tagline for our hair company is keeping your beauty secrets a secret. So we don't want people to know that you have a wig or weave. Um, with the um, with the um, chicken is love in every piece. Your grandma's favorite chicken. Um, this one, drug dealers, businessmen for hustlers only, converting street skills into millions. So you need to have something that goes along with that so you can start the merch and not necessarily merch in that sense to where you're trying to advertise or getting people to advertise for you. Wear your shit. You know, why don't wear Gucci and none of If I got the opportunity, I'm putting my T-shirt on. If I did, like at Javier's and all that, if I, if I can, I'm wearing it up in there. You know what I'm saying? Because, one, I believe in my brand. I do. I believe in my brand. Brands, plural. You know what I'm saying? And that's not the stunt. That's to say that I've tried a gang of shit, right? <laughs> and that's the thing. That's the beauty about life is that it gives you, life gives you choices, opportunities, and potential experiments. And that's what you have to do. And then once you build your brand, you got to start to market. So if you're interested in Facebook marketing, there's stuff for that, right? So I'll give you guys another resource, um, social media um, examiner. And I've told you guys about this before, but this cat has everything. And if you want to learn about social media, you're like, man, I'm not that nice at it. I don't really know about TikTok. I don't really know how to do it well. Man, you don't knock it off. I got you. And this that's the <laughs> that's the beauty in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I feel like God's blessed me to learn to give. That's it. Right? Th that's it. And the first thing he wants to know is, do you want to copy? I don't mind missing the latest trends. So if you're interested in this, this is one of the resources, how Instagram works, the algorithm. And then he has everything on this, so LinkedIn, web, you name it, right? So Instagram, I need YouTube help. He has all these resources for YouTube help. How to get YouTube ads, audiences, Google discovery, um, how to improve. All these things, and they're they're recent. This is in August, and he does podcasts. So there you go. Send me my free marketing tutorial. So he has a lot of stuff on here. So social media marketing world is a hell of a resource, right? That's another one. So if you need help on that, go there. All right. That's but you got to commit to it, right? I keep talking about that ten thousand hour rule. I, I I won't stop because I'm a firm believer in it. Like this, right? Even what I'm doing right now. Watch when I get to 10,000 hours, you know, because right now, a lot of times we in the middle of it. So we it, it doesn't seem like we're moving the needle, but the entire time we're practicing. Right. Shout out to Deion Sanders and Shador. But the thing what people are missing is that he got his 10,000 hours when he was in Jackson. Well, wasn't nobody really paying attention. Right. They talk about the Beatles, how they was at this club in Hamburg playing, playing, playing when nobody saw him. And you think about the practice that you get, the practice, Kobe Bryant practicing all the time, his dad, basketball, everybody, basketball, basketball. You get that 10,000 hours of practice where that's all you're doing, eventually you get good at it. Or eventually people recognize your greatness. And they think it was accidental. They think it was overnight. They think it was just, oh, you just happened to be here and there. No, 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 no. I've been practicing my ass off all the time. And I tell my students that I get to practice in front of uh, three class. I got three classes on Monday, back to back, back to two. And there's 40 students in each one. Then on Fridays, I got 117 students in like a stadium type uh, city. You think I ain't practicing my public speaking skills? This is practice. Right. And I, I think I'm going into business, but I'm very well maybe setting myself up for something else later in life. Who knows? This is how God and the universe works. But back to business, right? I'm. I said I, in my tablets, right? I'm gonna start calling those my, my um, <laughs> like my 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 wisdom tablets, right? Because I wrote them in the pen, on yellow tablets, and my mom saved them. I, I mean, my uncle saved them, and my, my mom um, put them in these like these glass things, and I take them around when I go do speeches and talk to people, and be like, man, I wrote this stuff, and then I was gonna be the greatest businessman. I'm working on that shit. 
right? Like subliminally, right? Subliminally, I'm working on it. So I'm trying different businesses out. I learned about transportation, had no one in transportation in my family, had zero experience. So like when you hear those stories, people talk, I had no experience in this. I'm not playing. I had not, the, the closest thing I had to transportation experience was reading The Seven Tenets of Taxi Terry, which is an excellent book, by the way, about customer service. But that was the only thing that I picked up, and that was enough for me. I said, the other stuff I can figure out, but this stuff that he's talking about in this book, in terms of customer service, in terms of keeping your bus clean, right? I got a compliment on that this past weekend. When I was at an event, he was like, man, I love what you do. He's like, man, the fact that you keep this bus smooth and clean, AC work, everything works. We had that bus going on five, almost six years. That's crazy, right? But that's that's what I'm saying. Like, I had no clue on that. And there were people trying to sell me, hey, man, we'll get you registered for 12. Man, not with Google around, homie, right? Not with Google around. You can't sell me nothing. Nothing that I'm not willing to pay because I know the ticket. But you can't sell it me like, oh, you don't feel like doing this. I did the grunt work. I filled out the paperwork myself, right? Did the research, submitted the paperwork, went to the TCP because with the transportation, you have to go through the, the California Public Utilities Commission, which is a whole other thing. You got to fill it out. You got to get your bus inspected. They got to count seats. All this stuff I learned so that I can teach so that if somebody comes and says, hey, D, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to do the same. Man, just what you want? I'll tell you exactly the play. No problem. And then now that, that's on food now, right? We're doing a restaurant build out. That's not for me. That's, not, that's for me to tell somebody else to inspire somebody else, which is why I'm sharing that story. That's it. I'm the guinea pig, homie. <laughs> so all these things I learned, even look like retail. Like I, now I'm like the teacher that like, man, I'm telling y'all what I'm about to go do, what we're talking about as soon as I get out this class. And that's the power of it, right? You know what I mean? Experimenting your ass off, failing, but to the point of where we're at right now, right? That's the beauty in it. And I'll say this, you got to keep trying different things. You got to figure out what works, right? And you can't, sometimes you got to remove yourself from certain areas. Right. Your stuff will work somewhere else. Your stuff will work if you didn't have this person around. Right. And you got to just go chamber of commerce. Let me go figure out what the hell the chamber of commerce is. Right. You start a lot of people don't even start, go there. Let me figure out what is the chamber of commerce, man. That's where everybody that does business in the city meets and talks. So you're going to get rub elbows. Right. You don't know what situations that's going to put you in. Right. Understanding the mechanics, that's just that. The banking and all that, you know what you need to do for that. The seller's permit, register. Now comes the hard part is how do I get this business off the ground? How do I get a paying customer? How do I get all these things, right? Well, you start with one. <laughs> and sometimes you may have to start with a non-paying customer to prove that it's possible, right? So sometimes you may have to start off giving out deals. Sometimes you have to do that. That's not out of this world. But you have to um, set up your structure, too. So not only that is if you also where a lot of people miss, too, is they don't set up their businesses to get reviews online. And you need to concentrate on figure out what business am I in? That's another question, too. What business am I in? Am I in the service business? Am I in the, I ask my students, I say, well, what is what, what business is Uber in? Oh, well, they're in the, they're in this. I said, well, do they own cars? No, they don't own cars. Well, how are they in the transportation business? Oh, well, what do they own? They own the 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 access. <laughs> I said, they're the conduit. I said, that's what they own. I said, that's their pro that's their product. It's nothing. It's connections. So understanding what business you're in, what business am I in? Am I in self-help business? Right? Who okay, if I'm in the self-help business. Who is my customer? Now, I need to really drill down on that. Who is my customer? Who, what, and what type of situation am I trying to help them out of? And build everything around that, right? Everything around that. And if you need help, there's resources, right? So if you need uh, topics, right? Say, for instance, you're dealing with depression, right? Or mood swings, right? People have a mood swings or, or, um, um, you know, it could be anything related to that. 
there's a thing called answer the public, which I told you guys about in the past, but we'll revisit, right? And when you go to answer the public, and I'm gonna show you guys that in one second. You know, I I, I got stuff when I when you guys start talking about business, I'm like, yo, man, I got stuff, man. <laughs> So this is answer the public. And what it does is it allows you to figure out topics. So if you're struggling, trying to say, well, what do I talk about? Right. So if it, let's just put depression in here. Right. Or let's say um, motivation. Let's say motivation. I ain't going to go negative. Motivation. We're going to put motivation in here. This is answer the public dot com for those who are listening. And in the search bar, we put in motivation. And what it does, it gives you a bunch of topics around motivation about what people are saying, what they're asking about, um, what's searched, why motivation doesn't last, why the motivation is important, why motivation is a myth. You could talk about that, why motivation is important in the workplace. Why motivation is important in the workplace. Why? Because people bring their problems to work. You could have things, because the thing about it is when you start to list these things, According to what people are. Did you guys see that? Hold on. Hold on. You guys might not have seen that. So I put in there. Um, hopefully you guys can see that a little clearer than me. But I put in there motivation and it gives you all these topics around motivation. So if you need to talk about those specific things, if you're focusing on the workplace, that's another thing. Find your niche. Right. Where are you? So there's some people that only. So I saw somebody on TikTok where the dude was like, I'm a Vegas promoter. So his whole thing was to give you tips on how to win with nightclubs when you go to Vegas. So people see him, his content is 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 so tailored to that experience. So when you go to Vegas, you're going to be like, man, what was that TikToker's name? Let me see where he at. Right? So the thing about the workplace, you could focus on that or you could focus on niche. You say... <laughs> That's what's up, homie. I appreciate you, loved one. Always. And um, that's the thing, you know, like niche down and figure out who am I super serving, right? And build that content around him. He All his content is around what not to do when you go to Vegas if you go into a nightclub, right? There's a guy named, um, what's his name? Roger Murdoch. I think his name is Roger Murdoch. Oh, he's a plumber on YouTube. Amazing cat. He flipped it one all his advice is around plumbing, is centered around plumbing. That's it, right? So you can niche down like that, right? You can you can drill down and focus on that one consumer and start to build your content around that. So answer the public is one another resource that I I, I like to use. Um, it's free for, for like the first couple of searches. You get three searches a day. Um, this is motivation without money. So you have all these. To, how do I how do I motivate myself without money? So if I wanted to come in here and get topics, I could find topics in here. How do I motivate myself when I'm broke? That's a damn good question, and that's hard to do, right? How do I? <laughs> and that's a that's probably a real common problem that people are having. Like, how do I motivate myself when I don't I don't have the bread, right? I don't have that that security that makes me feel okay, right? That's when you gotta pray. Right. And you got to look at the things that God already blessed you with, the books that he's already blessed you with. He's already given you the resources to get out of any issue that you currently have. Trust me on that one. But I digress. So those answer the public in terms of content. Right. And, and this and the reason why I say answer the public is because these are searches that have already taken place. So these are topics that people are already searching. So when you have topics that people are already searching and you have those keywords in your either post title um in your title on youtube especially on youtube and you need to have it in your description as well so there's a whole thing on youtube to where if you are posting content you need to have a description and your description also needs to have whatever it is that's in your um subject line they need to match right so that you're talking about the same thing these are all little tricks there's a guy named roberto blake um that if you're interested in getting some youtube tips he's really dope and he's really good to follow, right? So these these resources, like I said, these aren't things that I just I go compile. This is these are things where God leads me to, and then I come back and I bring it to the house and open up the bag and say, hey, "Man, do take what you need, do what you got to do with it, 
let me know how it works out for you or not. Because <laughs> I'm okay either way. You dig what I'm saying? So setting those up, the next thing you want to do is you want to start, if you do have a website, just set up a, a landing page, right? Just, hey, you know what? Or a blog. Blogs are easy. Blogs are real. You can post your YouTube stuff on your blog. Um, you could write about it. So I'll post my YouTube page and then I'll have some content so that I can be discovered um, by Google. And then you could start to build, you know, a yoga with Adrian. All she did was started off doing yoga with her dog, Benji, on YouTube. And it grown into where she has an Adidas sponsorship. So that's that's what I'm saying. But it takes a commitment. She's been at it for a long ass time. You look at her old YouTubes like, damn, you put in some time. You put in that 10,000 hours, yo. <laughs> so it, it's. The one thing I will say, there's no shortcut to it at all. So you might as well, you know, pack your lunch, realize it's going to be a, a ride. Um, I'm going to learn some stuff. I'm going to bump my head. I'm going to, you know, take some L's. Things aren't going to be perfect. I get all that. And you need to embrace that because that's part of the process. But you got to take the steps and you got to invest in the equipment to make make at least a, 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 a worthy attempt at success. Um, and the one thing that I also say, too, is you're going to have to remove yourself from the people who don't have business experience. Don't run shit by them at all. Nothing. Especially if they even have a hint or a tone of negativity. By all means, you want to be a one around the ones who's cheering for you like your grandma, like there's no tomorrow. That's the one you want to talk to and bounce your ideas off of. Because a lot of times ideas get killed based on who we talk to, who we bounce it off of, who we ran it by. And they're pit, pitiful ass response, right? We ain't we're not interested in that. So one of the things that we that we are looking for is clarification um, from God, right? He'll send you the signs and the angels. Trust me on that one. I'm just one, probably the one to just spark it and get it started a little bit. But outside of that, he'll send you to God. He'll send you. I mean, sorry, the angels that you need to accomplish what you need to. Right. But take the steps. Right. So like even the steps that I'm taking, if you haven't taken any of those steps, take one tonight. Right. Take one tonight. Go buy the domain name. Right. And, and, and make sure see what it looks like. OK, is this too big? Is this too many words? Is this too. Let me just tr test some stuff and don't test it on your immediate circle, because that's not going to be the one to support you. I promise you that one. It ain't going to be them. So don't bounce it off your Facebook friends. Not, they ain't going to you might get one or two in there to support you. Right. But run it by more importantly, yourself. <laughs> make sure you love it and then pray on it. Sometimes you can make stuff work. Google. I, I was just showing my students Pepsi's first logo. Man, it looked like chicken scratch. It was horrible. It looked like a, literally a two year old. That was their first logo. You feel what I'm saying? So, I mean, that that kind of stuff happens and it's OK. You should have saw my first flyer for our hair company, man. It was horrendous but you practice and you get better you get a budget you go hire a graphic designer things like canva happen that was a blessing right so you thinking i got i gotta deal with these damn graphic designers for the rest of my life my like, man it's some bullshit they don't even want to do it half the time they don't want to smack you over the head with the price okay god said enough of that shit i got you here go canva build it your damn self now what no problem god let me get to it Right. <laughs> and that's that's what we got to do. Build it because that's going to build confidence. And then once you start to rock around, you're wearing your logo. People's like, come on. Well, where is that? I'm not, I made this shit up in my house, man. I was just sitting there fucking around. That's how it works. And when I watch like the this is another thing, too. Like what, what you what you what you're absorbing. I absorb the fools to build America. Um, I'm even going back to restaurant. They got this restaurant thing on um, on Peacock. You can find the stuff that inspires you, right? Find stories of success that people have built things out of nothing, failed. I want to hear those stories, man, because I'm in that. I'm at that point now in my, my life. Or they started out business. They didn't know what they was doing. They almost went bankrupt, too. They lost all their money, too. Oh, shit. Okay, so I'm not alone. Yeah, this is part of the process, B. Don't trip. You, you, you right where you're supposed to be at, homie. You feel what I'm saying? So that's, and I think that that's, where we get caught up and this is why it's so important to find peers right business peers and what that means is people that are also in business people that are also doing some of these same things right they always talk about celebrities how come celebrities only date celebrities 
because they saying that they're the only ones that understand. Right. So you need to be around business people that understand like, damn, man, I just had a hell of a day, man. I, the inspector came by and whooped the wham or I took an L that, and they like, man, shit, I felt that, man. I just took an L. This, but check out what I did. I bounced back and whooped the, like, oh, you know what? OK. All right. I guess it's part of the process and you're OK with it then as long as you got company. But it's nothing worse than taking an L and then somebody who ain't did shit like, damn, dog, you took an L. How you going to recover from that? Like, man, shut the fuck up, dog. Who's, homie, I didn't need that. Like, that. you don't, I don't need extra. <laughs> I'm already questioning it. You know what I'm saying? I'm already in my gut, like, I don't need, so watch who you share with. Because there's some people that have just <clears throat> put the 10 on it. And ain't no 10 to put on it. You dig? So, buy the book, too. When people, when people suggest books, when conversations come around you, when you get suggestive matter that just comes in your atmosphere, that's God. And what's he going to do? Send it like, hey, man, it's God, man. Here, you want your message? Nah, he's a little bit more sophisticated than that. So you got to pay attention to the universe when the universe is talking. I promise you that. And that means that he sends symbols in every which way he possibly can and use everybody around you. You dig what I'm saying? So it's important to start taking those steps. What do I need to go do? D said, well, D wow. okay, well, let me go ahead and click on that website and make that call now. Oh, I know they about to close. I'm practicing shit for when they get open. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me call it out. Let me practice so when they get open that I'm ready to talk. You got to practice, dog. That's the, I, like, I, I don't think people really understand the importance of that and understand the importance of the process of how you're not going to be good at the beginning. It's not. It's going to take time to perfect whatever it is that you are trying to achieve. When we first start cooking, we probably going to have issues, right? Just because. But that's something that I'm looking forward to because I'm like, okay, this is one of them problems. DC, if you can figure this out too. And I had to figure, oh, okay, well, how do you get permits and this and that? I'm up there work. There are a lot of problems that we think we're worried about that we ain't even going to face any damn ones. So we putting these problems out there and we kind of sometimes self-sabotage ourselves. But, oh, man, we got, oh, man, I'm a, you don't know what you're getting ready to have to do. Fall back. Chill out. Relax. Let the universe guide you. That's what it's there for. And take the steps when it does come with suggestive matter. Most of the time, we ignore the steps. We're like, ah, oh, man, I don't know who God. That guy's talking to you, homie. Move on that. Even if you ear hustling and then you pick up on a conversation that wasn't yours, but you like, that's what I needed to hear, it was yours. Dig that one. Other than that, you got to go, period. You got to be so confident and be willing to, for it to fail. That's the beautiful part about life and about going after stuff like business. You got to, I gave you the game. Start with that. I don't give, what people say about it doesn't matter. What do you say about it? And if it doesn't work, let that be your lesson, right? Whatever you spent on that. That was my lesson. I look at everything as an investment. So you start with the Secretary of State, you do that, get your business, name your business, county. Website, logo, blog or shop, whatever you choose. If you go on the shop route, there's a couple ways you can go with that. Make sure if you're going to take payment, go through Square. Square is pretty cool. Set up your products. All this stuff is online and easy. You got to just be hungry enough to know what questions to ask. And whenever you get to the to the, the to the point to where you like, I don't know what, I don't know what to do. You that's when you may need to tap into somebody. But other than that, you just got to keep going with Google. And start making it. And the thing about it, make it a priority to do these things when you have the time. So supplement, right? You need to replay. I'm not going to go kick it. I was. We were supposed to go to lunch. We were supposed to go. But I'm going to go down to the courthouse. I'm going to go ahead and get this business registered. After that, we can go celebrate. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? So after I do these things, then we can go, we can go that route. But up until then... Man, business first, always, always, always.
Anybody else have any other business questions that they want to talk about? Because we can extend it even more deep, right? In terms of surveys and asking questions. But some of these questions may be more better suited for when we're a little bit more established as a business, right? But customer service, be on point all the time. If you're already running a business, be excellent in that space. That's the one thing you can control. Don't be petty about money, right? Let them go, right? Write it off. Don't be argumentative. Don't even trip. You can always get it back, man. Keep your karma clean. Promise you that. Promise. So that will conclude our weekly tap in for this week. I hope some of that stuff helped you guys out. Um, if you need more questions, make sure you guys send me a, a chat. Put something down there in the comments. If you want to go into more detail, hey, D, man, I need, a, I need a lesson on analytics, man. I don't really know how Google Analytics works for my website. All right, let's get into it. Right. And, and those are the type of questions that I want you guys to to bring to me so that I can go a, le a little deeper, homie. You know what I'm saying? So. Make sure you guys tap in next week is we will always bring you the best of what we have. Um, I, I'll keep you posted on the progress, um, but I'm an open book, man. Tap the F in. You already know the business. Um, oh, book of book. I'm still on outliers. Um, I almost bought. Oh, what was I almost bought? I almost bought another book, but I didn't buy it. So I'm still reading Outliers. Um, an excellent book, but there's nothing, nothing better than practice. And that's the one thing that I, I've seen um, with that, um, with most successful people, they're practicing and putting in the hours. So I bid you farewell and good night. And I wish you the best. And I suggest that you go practice. Tapping out.